librarian and I'm here to talk about my real results and experiences during quarantine and like how I lost weight during quarantine and the 25 day summer shred challenge from ta -da, Chloe Ting. Um, I really absolutely adore her. I really love her programs and I never really stuck to them in the past. But with quarantine, um, I really had to stick to something. Uh, before I had my kid, I was a CrossFitter and I was in the best shape of my life. I'll throw a picture on the page for you to see. Awesome body. Um, it was the best shape I'd ever been in. And then I got pregnant. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> and so the journey begins. And um, I went from 155 pounds um, to 190 when I was pregnant. And then I went down to 170 and then I gained weight again. And right before quarantine, I was actually starting to work out again at the CrossFit gyms and I was actually finally getting into, you can listen to my husband mow the lawn in the background, but um, I was actually getting into some sort of routine and then the whole stuff happened. And so I, I wanted to try to keep doing something but I kept getting down on myself because I'm not very self-motivated and um, the only way I really motivate myself to even get to a gym most of the time is because I'm paying the membership. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Um, it's been hard for me to work out because of having a toddler also and so because of having a toddler it's really hard to even do all the entirety of the workout. So, the workouts. The workouts were exhausting. Let me just begin with that. Um, it'd been a while, obviously, since the whole start of everything that I even did workouts. And this was very different for me versus CrossFit. Um, anyways, because there's a lot of weightlifting involved, um, toning of the muscles and stuff like that. And this was really different, but so effective. I mean, I'm going to integrate this within my regular routines from now on when I get back into the gym um, next month. So I'm really been I've been really excited about this whole thing and but I do want to go ahead and just admit to you guys and tell you and be real again this is a real result. I was only able to do two workouts most days um, because of my toddler. Every time I was working out, it, it just seemed like I had to get milk. I had to clean up a mess. I had to get a snack. I had to get this. I had to get that. Mama, I need you. I need you. I need you. You know, so anybody who has toddlers and just had to struggle through this, raise your hand. That's all I gotta say. So I was really happy that I made through two workouts. I was like, we are gonna, I'm, she's just, we're just gonna have to do two workouts a day. <laughs> and sometimes she would do the first workout with me a lot of times. And then she was just done. And by the second workout, I was most of the time just pushing it to to see how much she would let me do. I will say I got to uh, three workouts a day, uh, six different occasions, and I actually got to four workouts um, more halfway towards the end, I think like on two or three separate times because she was taking a nap. So it just worked out really great for me or my husband wasn't working outside or something like that, that we had to get a lot of stuff done or working in general still um, and could watch her for me. So I just wanna preface this whole thing with that, what I was able to do during my exercises, the real deal of what was happening. Um, like I said, I was just happy I got to get through two every day. That was my goal get through two of these videos. And if I can do more, that's awesome. So what I ate, I pretty much went through a lot of 21 day fix foods. And if you're curious about 21 day fix, uh, check out the link in the description box below. I even tell you how that works and kind of like the cheat sheet of how that, how those meals work, how those, basically 21 day fix is where they give you these little containers and it measures out your uh, fruit, your vegetables, your proteins, your carbs, based upon your weight and your goals basically. And 21 Day Fix, I swear by it. I think the the change of the mindset that you get of what you're supposed to actually have on your plate is awesome. Um, so I did do a pseudo of that. And I actually did a lot of different meals this time, especially since I was home. I got to really 
try a lot of different things that I was like jamming on. And Chloe Ting, by the way, has some really great recipes. And so I tried some of her stuff. And I also tried um, Aaron and Claire, I believe is the name of the channel. They, they're they in uh, Seoul, South Korea, and they make a lot of different um, Asian foods. And so there was a lot of things that I tried, especially their rice dishes. Like my favorite dish right now, literally, is just to make some jasmine rice, um, cut up some carrots, put two eggs on top that I've kind of like lightly tried to cook or tried to fry with just a little bit of coconut oil. And then I put a little bit of soy sauce, some sesame seeds, some green onions, and mix it all together. Oh my gosh, it makes my mouth just blah. So I tried a lot of different meals that way. Um, and that really helped me a lot and to stay on track. I'm not gonna lie, there was a couple nights where I just like binged a out of nowhere. I don't even, I don't even know what the crap happened, honestly. Um, I am going to blame my period for that because I get weird cravings. Um, so I did do that a couple times and I had my anniversary, but my anniversary meal was super spectacular and super quite healthy actually, uh, surprisingly, except for the couple glasses of wine I might have had. Um, but either way, it was definitely worth it. It was a great treat for myself and I really enjoyed it. So, my real results. By the start of everything, I started out at 182.5 pounds. Um, my bust size was 38, my waist was 33 and a half, and my hips were 44. By the end of this challenge, I could definitely see and feel a difference. I felt so much in my core. Um, I like could tell clothes fit differently, which is a gain in my opinion anyways. Um, I could fit into like a size 10, 12 dress. Yes, it had a little spandex in it, but still, don't don't cut my glories here. <laughs> I was really excited about that. Um, but I went from, like I said, 182.5 to 175.2. So that's six, like seven point something pounds. So a little over seven pounds. That's awesome in 25 days or 28 days. Uh, that's four weeks. So that's two, four, six, seven. So that's awesome. You know, slow and steady wins the race. That's what I have learned in the past, um, especially with my old body. And it, it's, it, it does, it really does. Slow and steady wins the race. And then I went from a size um, 38 bust to a 37 and uh, three fourths. And then I went from a waist that was 33 and a half to a 32. And I, my booty pretty much stayed the same. My booty stayed the same, so I guess I need to do more of her butt workouts because I'm not gonna lie, I did her butt workouts in the past and my booty did change. It put my cheeks in the right place. And can we just all agree that Chloe Ting has little cheeks in the right place? So, bless her, bless her. Um, so, you know, I just wanna let everybody know, if this workout is not working for you, you gotta think to yourself, Am I using my mind to engage those parts of my body that she's telling me to do? Because I will say for sure that I have really learned to really engage with my mind to actively know if I'm actually doing my abs or if I actually know I'm doing my arms and like doing sit-ups and stuff. I never realized how much I was actually just pulling up with my shoulders and stuff and my neck versus actually pulling from my core and my abs. So I want to thank her for that because I was probably not really doing it that right anyways um, in the past, even when I was my smallest. So I just want to thank Chloe Ting for that. And I want to thank her for having just the most awesome online free program. I'm going to link her uh, webpage down below. But you guys should definitely try this from a toddler mom to everyone else. If I can do this and just do two workouts a day, most days anyways, and just eat right and be happy um, and still have my binge days. Let me tell you, I did. I, I went ham on some Cheez-Its randomly one night. I don't know what happened. 
I'm so sorry. But I, I definitely think you guys should give it a go. And thank you to my subscribers too um, for giving me compliments and just noticing, just noticing. When people notice that you're actively tr like losing weight and they see a change in you, it just makes you feel awesome. So thank you for noticing that. Um, and just, you know, guys, I hope this video is an inspiration for you. I hope it gives you some ideas. Um, if you're curious about what I eat, I am gonna post a whole different video because it could go really long just with what I eat alone to give you guys some inspiration. So otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and check out Chloe Ting. And I'll see you guys next time. Vintage Life right now. Bye guys.